In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about reducing noise by adjusting the sample settings on emissive surfaces. And for this scene, I'm using the Cantina.C4D scene. So let's go into the Octane settings here. And within the kernel, I'm going to turn on Irradiance Mode. So your radiance mode means that we're just rendering without the uh, material properties, just a few shadings, emissive surfaces, and no bump channel. So it's a little bit easier to see where the, uh, the noise areas are when it comes to the lighting. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off a bunch of the lights so we can just kind of isolate. Maybe we'll just start with the lights on the, the robot's face here. So I'm going to go into, so I'm going to go into the scene tree here and expand VAR Geo. And let's go down to emissive surfaces. And I'm actually just going to turn off this entire group. So now we're just seeing the light coming through the windows here from the outside daylight. So you can see it being cast over here. There's a little table lamp over here. And then there's this uh, emissive surface on the robot's face here. And you can see as it's rendering, it's uh, quite a bit noisy here. So there's a couple things we can do to kind of help reduce some of that noise. So let's go into the Octane Node Editor. So I'll go into Materials, Node Editor. And there's a material down here that I want to select called Barbot Emissive. It's this one right here. So I'll select it. Take a look at it right here. In the Node Editor, you can see that I have Texture Emission connected to the emission of a of a diffuse shader. So I'll select texture emission and you can see in the attributes here down here we have sampling rate. So right now it's set at one. The default setting for all emissive surfaces is one and usually that's enough for most scenes. But in some situations where the light is creating an, a, a really an excessive amount of noise, you can try upping this as a way to kind of smooth out the lighting in that area. So I'm going to set this to say 15. And the other thing I'm going to do is it's really, really bright. It's probably brighter than we need for this particular um, purpose right here. It's just a little mouthpiece on the robot. So I'm going to cut the power down to, say, 25, because I just want something that looks like it's going to glow. So let's do that, and then let's restart the render. So this is going to take longer to render. You can see the noise is not quite as prominent in this area, but it is a bit slower. So I'm going to pause this for a moment and let it run for a little bit and then take a look at, at the results. Okay, so you can see after rendering up to 5,000 samples, we have reduced the noise quite a bit in this area by increasing the samples and also lowering the uh, strength of it. The power was a bit too high for what we needed. Um, so let's go into the Octane Node Editor. This is the light emission shader, and this is the one that is applied to the overhead lights in the room. The room creating most of the lighting. And uh, I'm going to raise this up to 12. But of course, you want to be careful. Don't go raising all the sample rates of all your lights in your scene, because then it'll take uh, forever to render. So you kind of want to really just hit the problem lights. And in some cases, for lights that are you know not as visible or not causing as much noise, you could even reduce the sample rate if needed. So uh, usually, sample rate a setting of one is just fine. But in some circumstances, you may want to try raising it. So that's just what we're doing here. So I'm going to go and uh, unhide the uh, group of emissive surfaces. And now I've set the sample rate to 12. And I'm going to do the same thing I did before with the other light. I'm going to lower the power because I think it's a bit too bright. So let's set this down to 20. So you can see by increasing the samples, we have reduced uh, some of the noise in the diffuse balances in the render. So next, let's turn off Iridiance mode and take a look at the final render. So go into the Octane settings and turn off Iridiance mode. I'll let that render for a couple minutes. So there's a result of the final render. Of course, there are more settings that we can use to speed up the render time and eliminate more noise, but that gives you an idea of the kind of effect that adjusting the sample settings on emissive surfaces and lights can have when rendering your scene.